it's extremely beautiful today and the time right about now is midday i want us to talk about the black magic camera app and the mistakes people make when trying to burn lots directly into the videos now you can record videos in apple lock which is a very flat video profile very uninspiring colors are muted but that lock profile allows you to actually do a lot more in post-production especially if you're trying to color grade your footage in a certain way while preserving your highlights and your shadows. It's a little bit dark in here because of the shadows. I hope I am still in frame. Road closed. I wanna show you guys something. There's this open field in front of me here, but I am spotting some people up there. And boy, it's so hot. And those guys are out there. That's crazy. So somebody said that when you record in Apple Log, the light color space doesn't matter. That is when you turn on the conversion light to convert your footage from Apple Log into Rec. 709. But I'm here to tell you guys that light color space under the light section of the black of the black magic of, of the black magic camera app. Oh my god, of the black magic camera app does matter. For example, if you went into the light color space in the black magic camera app, if you have already set your recording color space as Apple Log, and you go in there, slap on the conversion light of the Blackmagic camera app from Apple Log to Rec. 709 and you turn the light color space to Apple Log, your colors are going to be displayed badly and I can demonstrate that to you right now. First of all, I'm recording in Rec. 2020 so let's change that recording to Apple Log and now let's go to the light section, turn on the light display and select Apple Log. So, Let's leave the color space tag in the LUT section as Rec. 709. And as you can see, that is how my colors would look like, right? That is upper log to Rec. 709 with my LUT color space, Rec. 709. Now, if I was to change that LUT color space to, let's say, Rec. 2020, stop the recording go into the light color space and change it to rec 2020 as you can see the colors look very different the reds are so saturated right i even don't know how my skin looks like right now it must be super saturated as well and looks terrible now let's change that to p3d65 p3d65 actually p3d65 doesn't look bad as such and I'm sure that the skin tones look a little bit well exposed and the colors are a little bit accurate but not as intended as by the LART because the LART is upper lock to Rec. 709. So changing that to upper lock. So this is what it looked like. That is me recording in upper lock with my LART color space as upper lock. So it does matter, right? So right now I just changed my recording color space back to Rec. 2020 but of course I'm not slapping on a lot right now but if you are recording in any of the color profiles in the Blackmagic camera app you want to be sure that if you decide to burn a lot into your video remember when you do that you can't undo that process that is why I advise that when you are using LUTs in the Blackmagic camera app please don't burn the LUT into the video just turn it on for display purposes so I have a lot in the link in the description. It's Rec. 2020 to Rec. 709. So the way that that works is your recording color space should be Rec. 2020 and your LUT color space should be Rec. 709 because it kind of takes your Rec. 2020 footage and transcodes it or transforms it into Rec. 709. Otherwise, if you changed the LUT color space to a different LUT color space other than what I intended for this lot then you're going to get weird looking colors probably oversaturated or underexposed so guys whatever color space that you choose to record your videos in but when you do decide to burn a lot into your video just know that the lot color space does matter be sure that you know the kind of lot that you are trying to burn in if it's a conversion lot of upper log to rec 709 make sure your lot color space is rec 709 and if it is a creative LUT for Rec. 709, do the same.
that said, I hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.